Fear and panic on a New York City subway after a gunman with smoke grenades and a hatchet shoots 10 people before getting away. Police do have clues, clues including a gun, a rental truck, and a person of interest. Well, President Biden and police say that they will not rest until the suspect is caught. Police here in L.A. also taking precautions now. Our Lauren Lister is tracking late developments from our news center. Lauren, are we now learning that uh, police have a person of interest that they're looking for? Yeah, Cher and Pedro, this news just in moments ago, authorities revealing that as there is a manhunt tonight for the shooter and police are giving a name and photos of someone they are asking the public for help finding. They say they don't have a motive for this shooting. In addition to those 10 people shot, 13 others were injured, none of them life-threatening. Authorities revealing they are looking for 62 year old Frank R. James with addresses in Wisconsin and Philadelphia in connection with the subway shooting. They say a U Haul key recovered at the scene unlocks a vehicle rented to him. Tonight, multiple victims battling gunshot wounds and investigators searching for answers after a mass shooting on a New York subway train just before 8 30 a.m. as people were heading to work and school. An individual on that train donned what appeared to be a gas mask. He then took a canister out of his bag and opened it. The train at that time began to fill with smoke. He then opened fire. Police say the shooter hit people on the Manhattan bound end train and the platform, pulling into the 36th Street station in Brooklyn's Sunset Park neighborhood. Chaos as people rush to help the injured and evacuate. I saw maybe a 16 year old sitting on the train. Uh, you can clearly see the bullet on his knee, in his knee. It was confusion and I, it was just a scary moment. Alarming video from the train during the incident shows someone banging on the door between cars. Unclear who. And New York City's mayor revealing at least one security camera at the 36th Street station wasn't operating this morning. Also asking the public to come forward with clues. We would not allow New Yorkers to be terrorized even by a single individual. In the aftermath, victims seen arriving at the hospital, the president addressing the tragedy. We're grateful for all the first responders who jumped into action, including civilians, civilians who didn't hesitate to help their fellow passengers. Authorities on the ground zeroing in on a U-Haul cargo van they were believed to be connected with the shooting. While closer to home, one Los Angeles city councilman, also running for mayor, is asking for a review of safety on LA mass transit. Well, the incident in New York City, uh, the unfortunate tragedy there reminds us uh, the need for public safety uh, in our public transportation system.